In this last video on simultaneous equations, we are going to focus on solving problems using simultaneous equations. You will find this on page 138 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. In the previous section, we learned two different methods of solving simultaneous equation, equations. Let us now apply the different methods to solve mathematical and real-life problems that can be represented by two simultaneous equations. Can you remember the methods? It's elimination or substitution. But let's look at an example. A rugby book costs X number being dollar and a football book costs Y number being dollar. Find an expression in terms of X and Y for the total cost of five rugby books and seven football books. Okay, so it's 5X plus 7Y. Just write an expression in terms of X and Y. The total cost of this five rugby books and seven football books is 1070. Write down the equation in terms of x and y to show. So now just put this expression equal to 1070. Then the total cost of 3 rugby books and 14 football books is 1720. So just write your equation, your second equation. Write down the equation in terms of x and y to show this information. Solve the simultaneous equations from part B and C. Find the cost of one rugby book and one football book. Now, if you look at this, and you must decide what method, then you, you are rather going to go for elimination. Because to avoid using fractions, we are going to use the elimination method to solve the simultaneous equations. Since no coefficients are equal, you must find the lowest common multiple of one of the unknowns. The coefficients of y in these equations are 14 and 7. So we multiply equation 1 by 2 so that the coefficients of y are both 14. So basically, if we look at this, we're going to say, oh, it's not the same, but maybe we can just make this. We're going to do this one because then I just have to multiply one equation to get that 14 because 7 times 2 will be 14. So basically I just took that first equation and I multiplied by 2 and then I do subtraction that means I, um, I'm going to change the signs of the bottom one and now it will cancel out. So 10 minus 3 will be 7x and then this will be 420. Then I divide 7, divide 7 And then I'm just going to do it like this. So I'm going to substitute the 60 there, write one of the equations, and then find my value of y. And then, because it's a practical sum, answer the question. What, what was the question? Solve this simultaneous, find the cost of one rugby book and one football book. So one rugby book costs $60, and one football book costs 110 Namibian dollars. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I just want you to do number one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Number one. The, the wage bill for eight men and three women is 6100. Now, you can just decide already. Uh, men is, they, they mentioned men first, so let's make it X. Then they mentioned the woman. And then make it Y. So if it's eight men plus three women, I'm getting six one zero zero. First leave out the units. While for five men, five men plus six women, it is six seven zero zero. Okay. Now I'm just going to draw my line. Okay, and now I'm just going to look. Uh, elimination will still be the best because I don't have a 1, 1 in any of the coefficients. Is not, no, none of the coefficients is 1. But in this case, this is nice because if I just multiply, I just want to get a pen. If I multiply there with 2, can you see? Then this one 
will become, I'm just going to need another color, uh, 16x plus 6y, and by multiplying this one will be 12,200. Okay. Then I'm going to try to solve this one, okay, uh, find the wage. So, and, and then this one I'm just going to rewrite. Okay, so if I have then this 5x plus 6y equals 6700, and if I change that sign, then this is going to become, i just rewrite that first one again, so it's 16x plus 6y equals 12, 2, 0, 0. So negative 5x minus 6y equals negative 6, 7, 0, 0. Okay, so now I'm just going to simplify this. I'm going to get 11x this I'm going to cancel. This is, is going to be 12, 2, 0, 0, minus 6. Uh, let's just get it correct there. 5, 0, 0. And then I just divide by 11. Okay, and now x is 500, and now I'm going to write one of the equations down. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to take the bottom one. And now in the place of x, I'm going to put that 500. Okay, and now I'm just going to simplify. So I'm going to get 6y. Okay, and if I subtract that, I'm going to get 6y, and that's going to be 4 to 0, 0, and then I divide 6, and I get the value of y will be 700. But again, remember to answer the question. So, um, and I'm just going to answer it here. Therefore, the wage for a man uh, I'm struggling a little bit with the pen here. Wage For a man um, is oh, seven hundred Okay, I'm just going to read it for you. So therefore the wage for a man is seven hundred and for a woman it is five hundred. Just end with a nice sentence. Okay, let's look at the next video. In nine years' time, a father will be twice as old as his son. Three years ago, he was four times as old as his son. How old are they now? Okay, so make a table for the son. Now, make it different. 
Make the father X, make the son Y. Sometimes we use one unknown, but that makes it more difficult. In this case, it's easier to work with two unknowns. So in nine years' time, that means X plus nine, he will also be Y plus nine. Three years ago, X minus three, Y minus three. Okay, but now, in nine years' time, a father will be twice as old as his son. So the father, but because the father is the older one, if I want to make an equation, I put the two with the son. Did you see? In order to balance, the father is the oldest one, but in order for these two sides to be equal, I put the two with the son. Okay, and I can simplify it. Three years ago, he was four times as old as his son. So again, I put the four, not with the father. Remember, I want to show you. This is every time. This is the father side. And this is the son. Okay. So again, this is the father and this is the son. So every time, this is the son. I put the four with the son, not because he's four times older, but in all, because there's an equal sign and the two sides must balance, okay, like a scale. And then I just solve it. Now in this case, I can, because there's one X, I can use substitution, and I'm using that. And then I'm finding, I just substitute the value of Y in, and I find an end of your sentence. The father's age is 27, and the son's age is nine. Okay, let's move to the next one. Okay, I want you just to do, num you can stop the video and you can just do number one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, I'm going to start. At the present time, a man is four times as old as his son. Okay, stop there. Let's just make a table. Or you know, you can just write it. Father or man, son. Okay, make the man X, make the son Y. So at the present time, that means now, the man is four times as old as his son. But remember, it will be X, and then it will be 4y. I put the 4, I put with the sun in order for it to balance. Six years ago, now what was it six years ago? Six years ago, it would have been x minus 6, y minus 6. So six years ago, he was 10 times as old. Okay, so it's going to be x minus 6, y minus 6, but because of the equal sign, I put the 10 with the sun. Remember, the sun is on this side. And now I just simplify. So if I say, okay, this is equation 1, this is equation 2. So if I simplify this, I'm going to get x minus 6 equals 10y minus 60. So um, I can first simplify it further by saying x equals 10y. If I say minus 60 uh, uh, plus 6, it's going to be negative 54. And then I substitute 1 in, this is still equation, 2. And that in the place of, in the place of, you already have x, so in the place of x. So you're just going to have 4y equals 10y minus 54. So you're going to have 4y minus 10y equals negative 54. So negative 6y equals negative 54. And I will find that my value of y, okay, I divide by negative 6, and I divide by negative 6. 
and my value of y will be 9. And now I simplify it further by just doing that substitution. I'm just going to do it on the side. So I'm just going to say x equals 4y. So 4, and in the place of y, I put 9, and that's 36. So therefore, um, let's start. X, x is the man, okay? So therefore, the present age, I'm just going to read it again to you. The present age, Present age of the son is 9 years and the father is 36 years. End with that sentence.